This is the Honor Magic Book 15 and it's been refreshed with the latest Intel 11th Gen CPU. And I generally like Honor Magic Book series laptops for its value offerings and this one is shaping up to deliver that as well. And for 3,699 ringgit, it's actually one of the more affordable laptops that you can get right now, but it's still a lot of money. So in today's video, we're going to find out if it's worth it. Now the first thing that stood out to me was its design. It comes with Honor Signature Azure Blue Chamfer accents on the cover and the logo. It's not a big deal and it isn't new but I personally like it. In Malaysia, you only get the space grey finish and although it looks nice, I think the silver version would have been a better option like on the Magic Book 14 we reviewed last year. For a 15 inch laptop, this is a pretty lightweight device. With its aluminum chassis, the laptop weighs just 1.56 kilograms, making it quite easy to carry around. What's also impressive is the display. You get a full HD IPS panel that has a 100% sRGB color space, meaning content consumption is going to be pretty nice and you can do some light creative work as well. It has a decent peak brightness so outdoor viewing is not too bad and it is also tooth Rhineland low blue light and flicker free certified as well to minimize damage to your eyesight. For audio, you get two bottom firing speakers that are quite loud but unfortunately in terms of audio quality, they're not very good. Um, they lack balance and a bass but you can always use an equalizer app like the Nihimic app that actually comes in the laptop to tweak your settings a bit but unfortunately I couldn't find a setting that actually suited my taste. You can still enjoy YouTube videos and maybe listen to some pop music but really you're still gonna need a pair of external speakers and headphones. Thankfully the laptop does come with a 3.5mm combo headphone jack. While we're on the subject of ports, the laptop comes with one USB 3.2 port, one USB 2.0 port, and one USB Type-C for charging and data, a HDMI port, and the aforementioned headphone jack. I suppose what you get here is sufficient, but I can't help but feel Honor could have added one more USB port or SD card reader. Moving on to the keyboards, they feel a little mushy for me but I didn't experience a lot of typos on this which is also thanks to how well spaced out the keys are. Unfortunately, the keyboard is not backlit. On the plus side, the trackpad is large and well positioned, there's a nice tactile click and tracking is pretty accurate too. Moving on to the webcam, once again, it's placed between the F6 and F7 keys and to enable it, all you need to do is physically hold down the mechanism to pop it open. This helps a bit in adding privacy, whenever you close it, it's automatically disabled, it's really simple. But the problem with this placement is, like on its predecessor, the camera angle is pretty awkward. So this is a recording sample of the webcam on the Honor Magic Book 15. As you can see, the angle is not great. Uh, you see a lot of double chin here, but yeah, this is the audio and video quality of the webcam. In terms of hardware, the device comes with an Intel Core i5 1135G7 CPU with Intel Iris Xe integrated graphics. On Cinebench R23, the CPU scored a decent 4,729 points on multi-threaded performance, while on single-core performance, the chip ranked an impressive third behind its Core i7-1165G7 sibling. On PC Mark 10, the laptop scores a very respectable 4,600 points, and on 3D Mark's Time Spy, it did 1,296 points. For RAM and storage, you get 16GB of 3200MHz RAM and a 512 Western Digital SN730 NVMe SSD, which scores a very good 3393MB per second sequential read speed and 2711MB per second sequential write speed. Now let's move on to gaming with the Intel Iris Xe integrated GPU. I was able to run Genshin Impact at low settings 1080p at a steady 60 frames per second in domains, while outside certain areas may cause a slight dip in frames. For CSGO, to make it really playable, you'll have to play at low or medium low graphics settings at 1080p. Thankfully, the laptop handles Dota 2 very well and you can play it at 1080p resolution at medium graphics and still get over 60 frames per second consistently. The Magic Book 15 comes with the same 42 watt hour battery as before and I was able to get about 8 to 9 hours of use with a regular web browsing, media consumption and some normal work at 70% screen brightness. 
this is plenty enough to get you through the day and it also comes with a 65 watt charging adapter that can fully power the device in about an hour. Moving on to one of its biggest features, and it's probably one of the reasons why you would get an Honor Magic Book in the first place, it's got the Magic Link feature that lets you seamlessly transfer data from your Honor or Huawei device to the laptop with a single tap, almost. Now with all that said, for 3,699 ringgit, I think you have a pretty decent and reliable option here if all you need it for is a work study, uh, some web or social media browsing, some light gaming, maybe light photo, video editing. Uh, because it's got a really nice display, it's also really lightweight for a 15-inch laptop and it's got really good battery life, so it's quite portable as well. Now if you need something for medium to heavy, uh, content creation or if you need proper gaming then I'll suggest just save up the money and get a laptop with a proper uh, dedicated GPU. But hey let us know what you think about the Honor Magic Book 15 down in the comment section below. If you like our video remember to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more videos coming soon. This is Victor signing off, bye bye.